Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have from the Good Smile Company, uh, a nin Nindoroid uh, Nipako. What I'm pretty sure this character is, is just like a mascot for a certain uh, pair of nippers. I don't think it's the God Hands, nor like the, the, the Tamiyas. Um, not really too sure what, what nippers that she represents, but uh, I've seen her in quite a few different kind of uh, advertisements for uh, certain brands of nippers, as well as like some things on Macross. Um, so I guess, you know, it's pretty cool to have this as a little, like, a little figure as a, as a mascot uh, for your nippers. Uh, and that's actually the only reason I bought it, because I kind of wanted to see this um, kind of just pair up with my nippers. Uh, I don't know, I guess like maybe give my nippers uh, some kind of more personality. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. Um, you know, I really just, I love the overall look of this character. Like, I don't know, she's just a, a pair of nippers. Um, she even has like the little bolts, um, like the little, um, uh, I'm just gonna say bolts. I know they're not bolts, but uh, like the lug nuts, lug nuts in uh, in her hair. So that's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. I guess this is number five, uh, 578 in this line of uh, Nindoroids, but I'm not too sure. And then this side, you just basically see uh, kind of like a depiction of what you can uh, pose her with. So uh, looks like she has an extra box. Um, looks like a Mac Cross box, and then uh, a box that I guess you know model kits come in and she got like a little runner right there she's like crying i guess she like probably messed up and then looking on the back it kind of got some more little poses right there kind of the different um accessories that comes with her and then here it looks like you can display uh your pair of nippers uh, alongside her so that's actually probably what i'm going to be doing so let's go ahead and open this up okay so here's everything that's going to come in the box but the first thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the articulation Okay, so looking at the articulation, uh, the head itself can pretty much move back and forth, uh, turn all the way around, and you can go, you know, up and down as well. So if you want, uh, you can probably move it all over. Uh, now the the hair is probably gonna be the best thing that has articulation on uh, on this little figure. Uh, so I mean, I think that's pretty cool. But uh, this is actually the first uh, Nindoroid. I've ever actually handled so um, this is all kind of like new to me as far as the articulation so if this is like the norm of all this then uh, definitely let me know in the comments below uh, but for the arms they basically just gonna be able to go back and forth they cannot move out because they're just on a little peg inside the body uh, and then this part is just gonna be on a peg as well so you can kind of move it back and forth but not really too much uh, now the feet is kind of gonna be the same thing as like the neck joint so you can kind of like move it move it back and forth, uh, then it's going to be able to uh, rotate as well. So it's like a peg, uh, but there's also like a little bit of a, um, kind of like a little swivel on the inside. But that is essentially it when it comes to the articulation. Okay, so looking at the accessories, you do get a nice little stand. So all you're going to do is plug the stand right there into the back of her, uh, of her body, and she'll be able to stand like so. And it's pretty much how I'm going to be uh, posing her whenever I'm, you know, changing out the arms. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different faces that she gets. Okay, so the first face that we're taking a look at is just going to be a basic, like, you know, smiling. So uh, it's, it's really just a basic face. And the next face is pretty much... Uh, I, I, the way I look at it is like she is either really excited that she's about to get her hands on like a new kit or something or she's about to do something pretty bad. So I don't know if it's either or but uh, that's kind of like the expression I'm you know seeing right now. And then lastly she has a crying face. So she has these like straight arms uh, with these open palm hands but the hands can actually be detached and then you can plug in some new hands. So the other hands that she has is going to be these peace sign, but I'm pretty sure these are actually like her, like pretty much um, using these as like nippers. So that's just kind of like the theme of the overall figure, and that's just kind of like what I'm thinking. And the other hand that she has is going to be like a kind of gripping hand, uh, which I'm 100% sure that it's going to be used to hold this runner. Uh, so you just plug this right into uh, the hand like so, and uh, it's... I guess you gotta have it at like a certain angle, um, but yeah, she'll be able to hold the little runner like so. And she also has this other hand, which is very similar, but instead of a uh, open hand to plug things in, it's just basically a little fist. And the last of the accessories for the hands and arms uh, is gonna be a right arm that has a nipper uh, hand, or well, a hand that has nippers in it. Uh, so it can kinda look like she's uh, pretty much about to cut any kind of pieces like off the runner that she's holding right now. All right, and you also get like these little boxes, um, but you gotta cut these out yourself, and then you gotta like basically put them together. The instructions are right down here, uh, but you're gonna have to cut these out and then put them together. 
All right, and here is the boxes. Uh, pretty much, I just folded them. I didn't like. I'm. You, you're gonna have to do some super glue. So just like, uh, just glue those little parts right there, and you can have like a little nice little box. But um, I just, I don't really care to, <laughs> to uh, display these boxes at all. But um, actually, I, I've read over here it says God Hand uh, Ultimate Nipaku, uh, Nipako. So I guess like. The nippers that are kind of like associated with this uh, character are actually god hands. Uh, and it just so happens I do have a pair of god hands. So let's go ahead and roll into the next little thing. Okay, and the last thing you do get is this little stand right here, which you can put your uh, nippers and it plugs into the stand that she's a part of. Um, so, like, as a whole, this thing, I, I just I love it. It has so much personality into it. Um, I mean, it, I think it's a really good companion to your god hands, uh, or I guess like your nippers in general, but this really does look like it's more catered to the god hands. Um, I, I, I don't know, the, the way the neck is kind of shaped, it's not really going to be able to fit uh, some of like the, the more cheaper, uh, the more cheap brands of nippers, uh, or even like the citadels and all that. This looks like, I'm pretty sure this is catered to god hands or anything that's uh, closely shaped to uh, the god hands. Um, now I do have a, a blue pair of God Hands, but that's back in the States, which I should be getting um, whenever my, my family actually sends me all my stuff uh, back from the States. Um, so at that point, I'll go ahead and I'll replace the red with the uh, blue, but I'm actually using, I'm using the red nippers right now. So I guess what I'm not using, I'll just go ahead and dock it uh, into that little stand. But I think it's pretty cool. You know, I paid about like uh, 37, I think like $37 for this. Um, so I think like if you really just love like the character or if you really just love god hands and you kind of want more stuff associated with your god hand nippers hey this is pretty cool for you or i mean if you just like you know little uh nin what's it called nindo nindoroid nin yeah nindoroid uh figures then hey this is a pretty cool one i guess uh, this is actually my first one so i'm not too familiarized with everything else um, but that's it guys, just want to go ahead and give y'all my, my little review of this that I just picked up today. Um, I, I actually was not going to pick it up, I was like, oh, I was like, I really don't need this. Um, I, was, I was thinking about getting uh, something else, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger and buy it. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, the boxes kind of suck, but if you just super glue it, then obviously you're not going to have any issues if it's uh, glued down. Um, I, I do wish it had more accessories, but... I. I mean, you can you gotta think like what else can it really come with? I mean, it already has a runner, it has uh, some nippers for the hands, maybe some different position hands would, would do really well. Um, and uh, I guess like the only negative thing I really have on this is that some of the parts really do just like pop off, like the waist, uh, the leg. Uh, it doesn't even stay in the stand that well. You really have to like force it um, to really stay on the stand in the the back peg. Um, but that's really it guys so definitely thanks for watching um if you do like these kind of reviews i probably won't, won't be picking up any more nindoroid uh, um figures but i'll be doing more figures in the future so if you do want to see that let me know in the comments below um also let me know in the comments if you do have a pair of god hands and this may be something you want to pick up but uh, that's it for me guys definitely thanks for watching and i'll see you later bye bye